Hello everyone, my name is Udita Kundia. I'm from class 4 Stuart School, Bhuvanesha. And today I'll tell you Ma Mahabharat episode 24. So this Mahabharat episode 24 name is The Death of Jarasandha. So here now, so as you know I told you in the previous episode that Krishna, Arjuna and Bhima set to Magad. Yes, it's Magad, a kingdom name. They said to the kingdom and there they and that kingdom was ruled by Jarasand. So Jara they went there and they disguised themselves as Brahmin students who have just finished their education. And the, those three of them set the three of them then set their minds to go to the palace and there they would themselves fight that we would fight with Jarasan and Jarasan would be dead then. And then the imprisoned kings and Jarasan had the Jarasan had imprisoned some great kings and that he would sacrifice uh, he, that he would sacrifice to Lord Shiva. And Lord Shiva and uh, Jarasan was a great devotee of Lord Shiva. So there, so he went there. So one one day, the Arjuna, Krishna, and Bhima came there uh, to the palace. So they just nimbly jumped up the palace grounds, the palace gates, the walls, and then they reached the inside uh, inside of the palace, and there they and there they saw that the palace was now Jarasand was not seen in the palace so where Jarasand is gone Jarasand was now praying his prayer was not finished and it was about midnight till he did his last prayer so now the three of them came so Jarasand saw them and said you do not look like Brahmin students or indeed anyone, you don't even look like any Brahmin also. And you don't have soft skin the Brahmin have. But you have the warrior uh, rough skin. And your soldiers are just uh, marred by the weight of a heavy bow. So you are some warrior. Tell me the truth. That you are not Brahmin. What? Who are you? So then Krishna smiled strangely in his way and then he said, We are warriors. You guessed it right. I am Krishna from, you know, I am Krishna as you know. And these two are the Pandavas brothers, the Pandava brothers. So this is Arjuna and this is Bhima. So we have come here to defeat you, to kill you, so that the imprisoned kings so the kings that you have imprisoned would be freed so that's why we have come here okay let us start our fight and Jarasan said you I have already fought with you 18 times Krishna but you have failed every time I fought with you because I'm the stronger and because I'm the strongest man in the whole world I am even stronger than the strongest man. So I am the more very, I am very, very strong. I have already defeated you 18 times. Now I don't have a, now, now I don't have a mind to, uh, to defeat you once again. No, no. I wouldn't like that. It's boring. And the Arjuna still looks like a little boy. So he's not right to fight with me. But Bhima looks, but Bhima looks just the right person, he said. And Bhima began flexing and unflexing his muscles. And then they just started the fight. The fight started. And first Bhima was, first Bhima was defeated. Then Bhima showed his strength. And then he circled it to took Jarasan by his leg and circled him in the air and threw him on the ground. Then as Jarasan lay on the ground, the Bhima took her one 
on one hand he took one leg and on the other hand he took another leg so like this he just stretched he made half of the body half body here and half body there so he just threw it like this he just, just stretched it and the body just broke into half and he threw it to this side this pop and he threw this side to this pop. so by the time so then the courtiers who are seeing this fight were moved to tears that their uh, that their leader is now dead so then as if magic happened there and uh, they just the halves of the body that were thrown apart came together and joined once again the courtiers now knew that they were witnessing a witnessing a miracle the gods even knew that this is a miracle they are witnessing the miracle and then every time we were just stretched it and threw it into this side and this side so we just joined together so krishna took bhima's attention through the fight he took a leaf and threw, broke it into two then he threw this uh, part of the leaf to this side and this part of the leaf to that side so he broke the leaf and he threw it this side and he didn't throw this he broke it then he didn't throw this and this he threw this and this like this so now bhima understood what he was saying and then he took and he once again stretched jarasandh's body and broke it and then he threw this half of the body to here and that body part to there so to the opposite sides and then there are said now the courtiers thought that once again we would be once again our leader would wake up but that didn't happen and before the fight i forgot one thing before the fight so all so then before the fight jarasan crowned his son sadev the crown of the uh, crown is son sadev the king of magadha and don't mistake it for the pandavas yours for the youngest pandava brother that's uh, his name is also sadev but this is not that one so uh, also jarasan's uh, jarasan's son name is sadev and then jarasan was not dead sadev had enough courage and wow he had a good quality and he and krishna knew that he would be a successful ruler then after jarasan was dead krishna went there to krishna went to jarasan's son sadev and there he said to him that please attend my please attend yudhishthira yudhishthira's raja suya yagya so then he said this and said that i know that you have very good courage and you have you are good you have good quality and i know you would become a successful ruler but please attend i ask you to please attend the rajasuya yagya that you this to the king you this to has done so then sadev was also impressed by krishna's humility and then he said okay okay i promise i will attend the rajasuya yagya and many other great great kings also the imprisoned kings also to promise to attend the rajasuya yagya and those who have saw that the, the those who have witnessed the miracle they also said that yes we would surely attend to uh, the rajasuya yagya we promise they, they all said now the three of them came back after 14 days so these 14 days so out of 14 or uh, 14 days the bhima and jarasan were fighting na and after the fight was done on the last day jarasan was dead they all told we had to attend the rajasu yagya also first jarasan's son sadeva and now the three of them came back to uh, came back to indraprastha so there now what will happen next I will tell you in the next episode. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.